Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Guys, I'm excited to introduce you to a new product by Blue Eddy. This is called the Blue Eddy Multi Cooler. Now, why do they call it a multi cooler? Well, this has an ice maker in it, believe it or not, that can make ice in different sizes. It has a refrigerator and a freezer. This even comes with USB ports so you can plug your phone in and get it charged while you're making your ice. Another thing, as you can see, this battery here is a hot swappable battery. It can actually go in this unit or in the 180T, the AC 180T power station that just came out that we reviewed. Guys, we did solar testing. We did a refrigerator test, a freezer test, and an ice making test. So I hope you're excited to come see this. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Here's what we're going to be covering in this video. A super quick unboxing, a close look. We're going to go over specs. We're going to take a quick look at the Blue Eddy app. We're going to do a fridge test, a freezer test, an ice maker test, and we're going to also do a short solar test. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And by the way, I'm going to be unboxing it with the Tough Build. This is a five in one. Really cool, very inexpensive. I'll put the link to the video we did in the description. But uh, let's get this unboxed. And there it goes. You know, the box was pretty big because it had to protect it with the foam and everything. So they did a good job protecting it during shipment. Now let's take a look at what's included and then we'll come back and we'll take a good close look at the unit. So you do get a user manual. Not bad. Seems uh, written pretty well. Don't forget you'll be able to use the Blue Eddy app as well to control this. So that's going to be key. You've got solar cables. Check that out. So you can plug this in and charge it via solar. Um, now, I think there are some stipulations around solar or car charging, just so you'll know. So we'll find out about that and we'll talk about that in the video. All right, there are some uh, stipulations around that, but you do get a car charger and you do get a solar cable. That is amazing, you know, for people that are off grid. And then you obviously get an AC brick as well. So you can charge it AC, you can charge it in your car, and you can charge it solar. So that is uh, what's included. And uh, let's take a close look at this now. And then after that, we'll go over uh, detailed specs, stuff like that. So we're going to take a close look now. We're going to start off with the front. This is the front. Why is it the front? It's got a battery compartment. Your door opens up here for your refrigerator and your door opens up here for your ice maker. So let's start off with the battery compartment. You push in and this actually pops up and it stays up really nice. Now, the first time I pulled this out, I was like worried because it's really in there. All right, but let me see if I can get two hands. So you pull this out. And if you looked at this, you'd be like, oh, this is a tray for food or something. Well, it's actually not. This is really just made to fill the gap when you don't have a battery in it. That's it. You, you could probably put your plugs in here uh, and stuff like that, you know, make it uh, easier to transport. But, you know, a battery in this unit, by the way, would make it weigh more. So you probably don't want to transport it with a battery unless you're using it. But, yeah, this just, the, the job of this is just to fill that hole. That's it. 
this does not fit in the cooler. All right, so pretty interesting. Let's put this aside. I'll close this now. Actually, to tell you the truth, what I'm going to do real quick is I'll show you the battery. Very heavy battery. If you've seen this, I hope, because we did a review on the, um, I think it's the AC180T, which has two of these batteries. And uh, these are pretty beefy. I believe they weigh about 18 pounds. I'll put the weight on the screen. But if you look at the battery, you've got a release switch right here. You could see. You've got the Bluetti logo. And then you've got a battery meter. It'll tell you how much of a charge the battery has. One thing I really wish this had was a way to use it or a way to charge it on its own. Now, maybe Bluetti will come out with a way to charge these on their own because you, you would need to put this in to the cooler or the AC-180T to charge them. But let's take this heavy battery and I'm gonna put it in here real quick. All right, so once you get it in there, it kind of pushes the air out. <laughs> so it's like fighting you a little bit. But then you hear that click. And then you close this and it automatically turns the cooler on. You can always turn it off. But there's where the battery goes. Continuing on, you can see the compressor is here. There's only one compressor in this unit. And then here are the wheels and there's a handle in the front. So you can just kind of move this thing around. Um, you know, they feel pretty good. They're small wheels. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take a moment and look at it. All right, here's the left side. And uh, you get a nice beefy handle with some cushion on it. Seems like enough cushion. But it uh, seems real strong. It will stop about here to allow you to lift the unit. Um, really feels like it's made well. You know, these are plastic, but then they have steel bars in there. All right. And then you got a spot here for your hand so you can actually lift this up. I don't know what this is used for. I'm pretty sure there's a use. Do you know? Put a comment down below. Let me know. Um, but what are these used for? But yeah, you can put your hand right in. So that's really nice. Here's the back of the unit. You can see the hinges. There are, it looks like steel hinges back here. Pretty nice. Ventilation, of course, compressors down here. And the drain plug is down here, by the way. All right. So, uh, that obviously will be used when, I guess, you clean out the ice maker and you change your water. But we'll get more information on that later on. Again, here's the wheels. But uh, that is the back of the unit. This is the right side of the unit. All right, again, here's your handle and your DC. So you get actually DC output on this. You get a 100 watt USB type C and a 12 watt USB type A. That's cool. I mean, you know, again, you can charge your phone or something, your tablet. That That's really nice. As you go down here, this is where you would plug in solar, car charger, or AC charger. All right. DC input is 12 volt or 24 volt. PV input is 16 volt to 28 volt max. 200 watt max all right so um you know there you go i'll zoom in a little bit for you there and on the top and again more ventilation in the back uh, on the side of the unit continuing on the close look this is the um refrigerator part right your cooler and uh we'll get measurements for you and we'll put them up in the screen real quick all right so i'll put those up and uh, let's take a look so you do get two baskets that are removable you get a drain plug so 
you just take these out and you got a drain plug down there on the bottom and then I guess you could take a good look at the hinges here so stainless steel you do get a nice gasket here all right there you go and uh, looks like there's an interior light right here so we'll check that out later on and uh, it looks like the vent if I could move this is uh, right here so you've got like the vent to make it cold I'm pretty sure that's where the cold air comes from and let's take a look at the ice maker now so there it goes just trying to make sure we've got good light all right oh really good light so you get a scoop that you know can in a handle so you can pull this out let's pull this out for a second take a look at it so the scoop can just sit right back here i'm wondering if you do that you can't close it so you have to close that first and then put your scoop on oh you almost have to hold this open to put the scoop on but um 800 ml is the maximum water level it's listing it there and what happens is the water actually goes down there you just pour it down there um i think it's so if i put this in and here is where the water comes out of and this mechanism gets really cold and over time it actually starts to make ice so we'll check that out also but uh there you go real quick too there is a rubber seal on here also it's a white rubber seal that goes around just wanted to show you that but it does lock so when you put it down it'll lock you know you push this up lock it down same thing here close this but push it down it'll lock in place that's nice it has a really seems like a nice locking mechanism all right i'm going to go over some basics now let's start off with total volume so this is a 50 quart cooler but it's divided right so you have your refrigerator part which is 42 quart and then you've got your ice maker which is nine and a half quart the temperature range on this thing can go from negative four degrees to 68 degrees or negative 20 Celsius to 20 Celsius. Now the battery capacity is 716 watt hour per battery. Again, it is hot swappable, so you can buy a few batteries. You could use the AC180T power station as well. It's a companion. Uh, the battery is uh, lithium iron phosphate, so the cycles is 3,000 cycles, and then you have 80% capacity left. Think about that. I mean, this thing could last for years. Of course, you do need to maintain the battery. Read the manual. That's important. Um, the dimensions I will put on the screen, so you have the dimensions. And the noise level. So... It's 30 dB on the refrigerator side and 40 dB for ice making. So ice making is a little louder, but this thing is really quiet. I can't complain about how loud it was. Now, as far as charging, solar charging specifically, this thing can handle 200 watts of solar. 16 to 28 volt, 10 amp. Now this weighs 52.9 pounds or 24 kilogram now they have a feature on this called rapid cooling and 15 minutes you can go from 86 degrees to 32 degrees or 30 celsius to zero celsius now the rated power for the refrigerator is 65 watts and the rated power for the ice maker 
is 140 watts. It actually takes more power to make ice. Now, as far as charging this, you've got four ways to charge it. You can plug it into an AC outlet. You can plug it into your car charger, right? Because it comes with that cable. You could plug it into solar. Now, it doesn't come with the solar panel, but it comes with the solar cable. And you can even plug this into a generator. Just make sure the generator has a pure sine wave outlet. That's important. And this comes with a five-year warranty. Now, let me tell you a little bit about availability on this since it is launching very soon. Now, as far as availability, currently, this is on Indiegogo. And uh, what's going to happen is, I believe, it, when you place your orders, uh, these will start shipping in May to June, so keep in mind. Uh, again, right now it's Indiegogo. After that, it'll be Amazon and Blue Eddy. I'll put the Indiegogo link in the video description. And then when it's available on Amazon, um, I will put some links there as well. All right, but just want to let you know this is available in, in many ways, whether you just want to buy the, the multi-cooler, uh, you want to buy it with a battery, you might want to buy this maybe with the AC180T power station. You'll be able to do that right now. Again, it's February, uh, February 27th, to be honest with you. So our video will be out soon. All right, so you just saw the unboxing and the close look. And I wanted to show you the AC180T power station. You know, so... Those batteries can go in the AC-180T or they can go in the Bluetti multi-cooler. So really very innovative, very cool. And uh, yeah, let's move on and check out this video. Fifteen minutes. Just trying to see what we got here in fifteen minutes. So it's showing um, 43 degrees with a 97% battery, saying it'll run for 10 hours, 10.3 hours. Again, it's 43 degrees with 97% on the battery, 42, 15 minutes in. Um, let me do this also. Let me just open this up and uh, kind of see what we're getting. I've got 44 degrees, I'm just scanning the, the Gatorade, 42 degrees on the Gatorade, and uh, on 40, I've got one of those protein shakes, 43.7 on a protein shake, so not bad, it's moving pretty well, considering 15 minutes, 30 minutes in. I got uh, 21 degrees, okay. 95% on the battery with 11.5 hours left. Again, this is on max. Now let's go ahead and check inside and see what we're getting temperature-wise. All right, I'm going to check the Gatorade. All right, the Gatorade, we're getting 40. All right, 30... 42.6. What about the shake? Thirty-six point one. And the butter. I got butter down there. Thirty-seven point four in the butter. That could be the containers that they're in, you know different materials and stuff. Well, it's nice to see this uh, working. Obviously, we don't have 21 degree on the products themselves, but just wanted to show you that, a 15 minute and a 30 minute check. One hour check, one hour check. We've got 21 degrees, 94% uh, on the battery, and it says it can run for 14.8 hours. So one hour, let's take a peek inside and see what we got. Now, just so you'll know, I did add a thermometer. Obviously, it's not digital, but this is telling me 
that uh, it is, um, let's see, that would be 30 in the middle. So it's, it's definitely below 30 degrees. It's probably about 28 degrees where that is sitting. Now, let's check real quick on the Gatorade. I'm getting 39 point, uh, 39 degrees, uh, 38. Okay, 38.8. Let's check the, um, the shake real quick. All right, well, 33.8, and obviously this has been open, but let's check the butter. Thirty-five point two on the butter. All right, hey, just uh, that's it. That's it. Fifteen minutes. Then we did a half hour, and that's an hour. All right, we're doing a four-hour check. All right, hit this. All right, look at that. So it's 87% uh, on the battery. It says this thing will run 25.5 hours. Now, it's not being opened and closed, right, like crazy. 21 degrees. Let's open this up and just check and see what we got inside as far as temperatures are concerned. All right, start off. Let's look at the uh, thermometer real quick. So the thermometer says that, yeah, we are um, yeah, about 27 degrees, 26 degrees, something like that. You know, it's not digital. Let's scan the Gatorade. All right, Gatorade is, uh, look at that. I can get this, there it goes. 31 degrees on the Gatorade. Let's check the, the shake down there. The shake is 27.5. Wow. Ooh. And let's check the butter. Oops. Okay. Let me get that set there. Look at that. 30 degrees on the butter. 30.4. So, yeah, you keep this closed and uh, really... Drops the temperature. That's pretty cool, I'll tell you. 6 a.m. the next day. So that would make it 13 hours and 21 minutes. And we've got 69% on the battery. 21 degrees, and it says 25.5 hours remaining. That's, you know, again, you know, that goes up and down. Let's go ahead and measure the temperature inside and uh, see what we get on this Gatorade. All right. All right, well, I got 26. Twenty-six point three on the Gatorade. Twenty six point one on the shake. And the butter. Oops. Thirty two point three on the butter. Not bad. Not bad. And again, if we take a look. Oh. Well, it looks like it says about 31, 32. That, that's really, really not bad. 24 hour check. And look at that. We've got 47% battery. It's, again, it says it'll run for 25.5 hours. I don't know. That's additional hours. Um, 21 degrees. Don't forget, we do not open this and close this and open and close this. So you have to calculate that. But let's go ahead and uh, open this up and just kind of check some temperatures. Okay. So 
we'll go ahead and scan the Gatorade. All right. We're getting 25, 26.1 on the Gatorade. Check the shake. It is down deeper. We'll get 24.3 on the shake and the butter. Twenty eight point four on the butter. There you go. Twenty four hours in and think about that. Forty seven percent battery left. Again, we are um, the temperature in the home is set to 70 degrees and that's where we're at. Twenty eight hour check. Thirty six percent on the battery. All right, now the compressor's on. I gotta tell you, it's really quiet. I think it was about 45 decibels. Um, really, really quiet, so I didn't even do a sound test. But let's check the uh, temperature inside and see what we're dealing with. All right, start off with the Gatorade again. How about I show you that? Gatorade 27.5, okay. The shake. Now the shake's down further too. 26.1 on the shake. And then the butter. Twenty nine point five. There you go. Twenty eight hours in. Twenty eight hours into the test. All right, guys. It is three sixteen in the morning. Oh, let's see what we got. Five percent battery. Wow. Five percent battery. Okay, let me do this. Let's scan the items and see what the temperatures are. Okay. Give me a second. I got to set up the gun. Oh, it's too early for this. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's start off with the Gatorade. All right. Oh, okay. The temperature on the Gatorade. All right. Temperature on the Gatorades. Just double checking it here. 36.8. Okay. Temperature on the shake. 34.1. Temperature on the butter. That comes in clear. 33.4. All right, guys. Well, I guess we have a little bit of time left before this turns off. 5% left on the battery. All right, 450, and I don't have anything lighting up here. 450 in the morning. But um, yeah, i got to take this stuff out now. But still, that's pretty darn good. Okay, we are going to do a freezer test. Uh, the unit is 100% charged. It's 6.04 p.m. on Friday. So we've got the clock there. As you can see, it is 100% uh, charged. It says it'll run for 20 hours. Right now it's set on max. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Blue Eddy app. And we're going to drop the temperature all the way down as low as it'll go. So this is supposed to go to four degrees or negative four degrees, I guess. Yeah, yeah, negative four degrees Fahrenheit. All right. So, and again, it is set to max. Now this child lock, I turned this off, but for some reason it goes back on. So it is set for max. It is 66 uh, degrees Fahrenheit right now. Um, 
6.05 p.m. It is set to 70 degrees in the home, just so you'll know. But again, on the app, we went and chose the negative 4 degrees. We brought the temperature all the way down. Again, battery is showing 100% charge. We're connected via Bluetooth. But let's see. 605, how long will it take to get to 4 degrees? Now, I will tell you, I did put some sausage links at the bottom of the freezer here. And you'll see that these are not frozen, right? You can see that they're not frozen. So um, that'll be a good sign also. And this is the temperature in the unit, right? So we're checking this in a couple of ways, but 6.05, and now it's 6.06, but 6.05, 100% charge. How long will it take to get to that negative four degrees and how long can it hold it? And will the sausage links freeze up also? We'll be back and we'll check that out. All right, 15 minute check. That's what we're doing, a 15 minute check. Let's hit this, we're at 41 degrees. All right, 41 degrees, 97% battery. Okay, and uh, I don't know. I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna scan the interior temperature. All right, but we'll check it back in 30 minutes. I figured while I'm waiting, I'd show you that I'm making some dinner tonight. Yep, just me tonight. And uh, I'm going to open up a can of green beans. Have you seen this thing? This is a cool little gadget. Works every time. And it's done. I don't, okay, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why it's still turning. And then you hit the button. And this thing cuts this thing clear off. It has a magnet too, so it'll actually grab on. Isn't that cool? I picked it up not too long ago. Of course, I'm not doing a review on it, but I'll put a link in the description if you want. Pretty cool stuff. 30 minute check. Let's go ahead and check this out. It says 18 degrees now, 95% battery. All right, 18 degrees, 95% of the battery. Let's open up real quick and just do a scan um, and just see. All right, I'll scan. I'm scanning the sausage links currently, and they are. 42 degrees. Now, what does our temperature guy say? Uh, temperature guy says it's about 28 degrees in here. So the meat will take a while. But uh, not bad, not bad. We're going to do a 45 minute check coming up. And here we are, 45 minute check. Let's uh, hit this button here. And we, um, I don't know, it says 5 degrees with 93% of the battery. Look at that, huh? 5 degrees. Again, let's uh, open it up, take a peek. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's scan the um, sausage links. Oh, they did go down in temperature. All right. 35 degrees. Okay. And let's look here at our, let's see what we got. Okay, it is going down more. Look at that. It's now saying um, about 17 degrees in there. Moving pretty nicely. 
All right, guys. One hour in. One hour in. What do we have? Well, one hour in, and it says it is negative four degrees. 91% on the battery. So I think we should open this up and check it out and see what we really have. So first of all, let's look at the temperature in the unit. And I still have above zero degrees inside the unit. I believe that is about four or five. Actually, it could be six or seven because the middle is going to be 10. So let's just say that is eight, eight degrees. And let's check the meat and see what we're getting on the meat. So I got 27.5 degrees on the meat. Now, is it starting to get frozen? No, not at all. So it's okay. This is an hour in. This is a freezer. And we're going to continue to check and see what we get. Two hour check. Two hours. And what do we have? Let's take a look. Negative four degrees with 87% on the battery. All right. And let's take a look inside. Let's look at our what the temperature is inside. And look at that. Wow. So it's uh, about 17 degrees, I would say. Around there. About 17 degrees. And um, again, I know that the... The meat is not frozen yet, but let's go ahead and uh, let's check it out. Oh, look at that. 15 degrees. 15.3 degrees. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to come back and check it out and uh, see when it's frozen. Three hour check and 83% uh, battery. Again, temperature is where we want it to be. And uh, let's open this up. Take a look. All right. So what do we got? All right, look at that. It's moving in the direction, I'll tell you. So that's probably about six degrees, maybe, I would say. And our meat is starting to get stiff, but it's not completely frozen. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Again, scanning the meat. All right. 13.9 degrees. We'll probably do one more check. And then... We'll see if this will last through the night. Here we are with a four hour check. This is our last check for the night. And we've got 79% battery. And let's talk about temps. Let's take a look and see what the temps are. All right. Look at that. I don't know, it looks the same. And our meat is getting stiffer. And let's check the temperature on that meat. I'm going to hold it there. Okay. Wow. Look at that temperature. Nine, nine point four. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see if it survives the night because I got to get some sleep. 13 hours and 11 minutes. Uh, okay. 13 hours and 12 minutes. Just woke up for this test. Let's take a look. We have 48% on the battery. Wow. I'll tell you. All right, 48% on the battery. And uh, I guess one of the questions is, let's look at the thermometer for a moment. All right. 
and it's uh, close to zero. All right. I'm going to probably have to say that's probably about, I don't know, six degrees, five degrees. And the meat. Oh, that is pretty stiff. That's a, that is very, I don't know. I kind of say that's frozen. It's really hard. Well, let's check the temperature real quick since we're keeping the door open. It's almost like you have to hold it for a little while to get the correct temperature. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just tired. Oh, well, that's about two degrees. I don't know. All right, 1.3 degrees. Wow, I'll tell you, 48%. Looks like we're going to go for a little while longer on this. We got a, about a 17-hour check, a few minutes shy, four minutes, 17 hours. We've got 28% on the battery. Let's go ahead and open it up and look at everything here. So that is going down, so pretty close to uh, below zero. And let's check our meat. Wow, negative 2.2 degrees. All right. I mean, pretty hard. <laughs> pretty hard. There you go. 17 hours. 20 hour check. 20 hours. Amazing. We have 14% uh, left on the battery. Let's go ahead and open this up. Take a peek there. All right, zero degrees. Let's scan the meat. All right, just give it a moment to settle in. I want to just make sure I keep the little laser on the meat. And look at that, negative. Negative 2.3 degrees. Oh, yeah, we're getting... These are rock solid now. <laughs> I'm going to eat those. They're good. <laughs> All right. 20 hours. 21 and a half hours. Just because the battery's, you know, starting to go. What do we have? We've got uh, 9%. 9%. It says about an hour left. 9%. So let's check inside and see what we're dealing with here. <clears throat> All right, temperature's about the same as before. I don't know if that's like four degrees, you know. Check the meat might be the last time that we check the meat. Zero degrees, I don't know. Okay. All right, about the same as before. Well, not too bad. 22 hour check, the light's still on, so that's good news. We've got 6% battery left. It says it can run for another hour, that's interesting. We'll see. Again, quick check inside. Thermometer is probably going to be the same. Yeah, just a little bit above zero. Meat check. Again, I don't see any big difference, in all honesty, you know, moving forward. I don't think it'll get any more frozen.
Uh, I still say that's the number. All right, let's close it up. 22 and a half hours. Huh, 22 and a half hours. 3%. Yeah, this thing is flashing. It's probably going to turn off at any moment. All right, 3%, 22 and a half hours. And I guess, let's see if anything has changed. Let me open that up all the way. And uh, yeah, we're right above. Looks like we're about maybe four or five degrees. All right, the sausage is going to have to get cooked tomorrow. Uh, sausage links, I should say. Let's see what we get. Give it a moment. Oh, okay. So, look at that. It's actually colder, I think. All right. As I make a cup of coffee, I see that we have 22 hours and 34 minutes. And when you get that, that basically means your battery is dead. And um, the light's still on, but this unit, it's done. All right, when it, when it shows you E1, it's done. All right, good test. All right, we're going to make some ice. But I'm going to go over some things with you real quick. So this can handle a thousand milliliters or 33 ounces. But I want you to know that when you put 33 ounces of water, it will go above the tray. Don't worry about that. Okay. So obviously you think that you're limited to putting water up to the tray line, but you're not. All right. Especially if you're going to make multiple batches of ice, you know, it's good to have that amount of water in. And uh, I've done some tests. So I'm using a measuring cup. So it'll allow me to get to that 500 milliliter. And then I can put two cups of this inside. And I mean, really simple. Just go ahead and pour the water in. You're going to see here that the, you know, this 500 milliliters that I put in, it doesn't go above. Now, I'm going to see if I can get the camera in here a little bit for you so you can see that the water is really below the ice tray. Okay, so, you know, but again, you can actually put a thousand milliliters or 33 ounces in here. And again, it's because you're going to be making multiple batches of ice. So let's go on with the test. Now this tray does come out, so you just lift it out. Don't worry, pull it right out. And in order to release the scoop, you do need to turn the handle a little bit in order to release the scoop. All right, now I'm not really going to use the scoop, so I'm just going to put it back on here. Again, take this, put it right down. Now you can turn the ice maker on from the app or you can actually do it right from the control. I'm going to do it from the control. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can make ice. So in the app, you can turn on ice making and then you can change the settings right there. But I'm going to show you how to use the control panel. So what you do, this is the ice button. So if you hold this down, you're going to see small ice cube. So if I want it larger, I can switch that to larger or smaller. And then you see one. If I hit this, that's going to be 24, um, which is continuous, or one set of ice cubes. So I want small, and we're going to do one batch. 625, how long will it take? Let's find out. Now I'm going to open it up to show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to close it. And as you can see, it is running the water through, taking it from the bottom, bringing it to the top. So let's close this so we don't affect the timing. 
but 625 is when we started. Let's see how long it takes for ice to come out. All right, so we're 632, but I wanted to show you something. If you look at the app, it actually shows you the percentage. So it's 13% done. As you can see at the bottom, it's making small ice. And it does say 24 pieces there. I don't know why, but you know, I know one makes one set, the other one's continuous. So we chose one set. Maybe it's 24 pieces, but 13% and you can see it on the app which is nice uh, here it's just going to show you the display and it's going round and round as you can see there so we'll find out in a little bit 632 seven minutes into making ice and 13 percent 637 um, so that is like 12 minutes and uh, we are 63 percent up ah, 75% now so we're getting pretty close and it's interesting but these bars actually tell you uh, it's almost done by the bars themselves interesting okay 75% all right looks like 13 minutes in now 14 minutes now 14 minutes in we are uh, 88% and it looks like it's filling that last bar we should have ice in a moment. All right, the machine just turned off. Well, it's not turning off. What it's going to do now is it is going to eject the ice. So look at that. In 15 minutes, we're going to have a batch of small ice. Just give it a moment. You'll hear the sound. Look at that. The ice is being pushed out by the water. And we have 24 ice cubes. And officially, 16 minutes. Officially, 16 minutes. We've got 24 ice cubes in there. Let me just uh, take this out. I'll put it in here. can actually uh, get a good look at the ice cubes. <laughs> That's a pretty cool feature, I'll be honest with you. So 24 ice cubes, small ones, you know, very, very clear, as you can see. 24 ice cubes. Now we should do the large ones and see how long it takes. Now we're going to do large ice cubes, but we're going to do it from the app. Let's check this out. So I'm going to turn on the ice maker. Okay, maybe you have to hit it twice. I hear the machine. But it looks like, okay, now I want um, single and I want large. So that's pretty cool. Look at that, single and large. And I said large and single. So it looks like the setting takes a moment. You almost have to make sure you go back in twice. So single, large, 6.44 p.m. Let's see how long. Now this might be quicker because it's already cool. The first time this machine was off, and it's off for days. So it took 16 minutes. But 6.44 large ice cubes with the machine already cool. Let's see what happens. And there you could see on the display the large ice cube. All right. We'll take a look in a moment. Check it out a minute, right? One minute, it's already 13%. So being cool will actually allow you to make ice quicker. Interesting. Two minutes in, and we're at 25% uh, already. Thing is moving pretty quick. Two minutes in. 
see that, 644, 646, 25%. Three minutes in, and we are at 38%. Check that out. Three minutes in, 38%, as you can see on there also. Four minutes in, and we are at 50%. Not bad. Five minutes in, and we are at 63%. Eight minutes in, and we are at 88%. So, uh, yeah, we've got one bar left there. And uh, then the ice will be coming out soon. This is pretty quick. All right, it just turned off. So it's done making the ice. It's 6.53, but it's not done yet. In a moment, the ice will come out, and that will be the final time. Okay. It's going to start to push the ice cubes out. And it is, look at that, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to make the larger ice cubes. Is that cool or what? Now, I'm going to pull these out. And what I want to do is throw them next to the smaller ones since they didn't melt yet. Because I don't really see a huge difference, so I'm not sure. I think they're just deeper. They're all around the same size. But, okay. So, all right. So the larger ones are on the right, the smaller ones are on the left, so they're deeper. That's what it is. You see, see this isn't as deep, and then these are deeper. It's really hard to tell. I'm going to be honest with you. These are definitely the larger ones, but I don't really see a huge difference. I mean, they're hollow anyway, you know, but interesting larger and smaller I mean just a drop deeper maybe but they're hollow ice cubes look you're getting an ice maker and uh, that was 10 minutes but because it was already cold that's pretty good now after you use the ice maker you need to open up the drain plug and drain the water out Okay, make sure you do that. It doesn't take long, but you don't want the water sitting in the cooler. All right, that's what we're getting with the machine on making ice. It is definitely the noisiest when it makes ice. This is what it is with the machine off. This is the AC-180T. It takes the same hot swappable batteries. We did a short introduction video. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description. And in a moment, I'll pop a link up in the upper right hand corner titled AC-180T. When that pops up, you'll be able to click on it and watch it. All right. Well, here it is. I'm popping it up now. Click on that AC-180T. Watch the video. And thank you. So after spending some time with this cooler, I think this is amazing, by the way. In general, you know, I've, I've only had one cooler, um, you know, 12-volt cooler, right? Basically, plug into a car charger. That's what I had. So this one, to have a refrigerator, a freezer, and an ice maker, you know, is, is pretty darn cool. I'm going to start off with the cons, and then I'll end off with the pros. So the, the first con I, I don't like is the child lock, all right? So this thing goes on child lock within 90 seconds. Now, the app has a feature to turn off child lock, but when you turn it off in the app it turns itself back on. Again, no big deal, but that's one of my cons. 
Another con is the batteries can't be charged on their own. So they have to be charged in here or they have to be charged, you know, via AC or via solar or car charger. But I would have liked to see those batteries to be able to be charged on their own. Now, the other thing I would have loved to see is actually some maybe some USB ports on those batteries, you know, USB-C and USB-A, but they don't have them. So, again, to me, it would have been nice, right? Um... I feel like the wheels are just too small after using this and taking it around to different places. I, I think they should have had larger wheels on this, you know, and maybe some type of, type of uh, you know, piece in the front. So, you know, I, I do believe it, it should have had larger wheels. They are really tiny. So let's talk about the pros. Look, number one, this is great. This is hot swappable, right? You can have a few batteries and uh, just slide a battery in, pull it out, slide another battery, pull it out. So really, really nice feature. And uh, obviously it's the companion is the AC-180T power station we'll show you. Um, I like that it's got USB-C port and it also has a USB-A port. So you can plug in a phone or, or a tablet. So I like that. And the USB-C port's 100 watts, so that's really good. The screen is really clear on this device. I like that. It gives you all the information you need, like, you know, how long will the battery last, you know, what the temperature is. So I like that. Um, it's got an ice maker. I mean, that's really cool. And you can make two different types, uh, sizes of ice. If you, if you did, if you missed that, go back. We did uh, create small ice cubes and larger ice cubes. Um, so check that out. And the fridge and freezer work, you know, we, we had no issues. Um, I did testing on temperature and how long it took. So if you missed that, go back and check that out. This thing is super quiet, by the way. I mean, as high as 40 dB making ice and about 30 dB with the refrigerator. So really quiet. I like that this is compatible with the AC-180T power station. You can take the batteries out of that and put it in here. So I really like that. Um, did you see our intro video on the Blue Eddy AC-180T? If you didn't, I'll put an image up right here. And I'll put a link in the description. you got to check that out. It's a really nice unit. Lastly, this thing's got a five-year warranty. So that's a really good warranty. And, you know, with the lithium iron phosphate batteries, again, this thing can last a long time. You just got to maintain the batteries. So make sure you look at the manual. All right, guys. Well, I sure hope this information in this video was helpful. And if it was, take a moment and please give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you want to follow us on social media, Go ahead and follow us right up here. We'll put our social media channels up here. We've got a Tesla channel also. If you want to look us up on, on YouTube, go right ahead. And we'll put a couple more videos here. And if you want to subscribe to Tech Made Easy, go ahead and subscribe to our channel right there. Click our round Tech Made Easy logo and you'll be able to subscribe and join the family. Guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.